Dolly McLean of Hartford, Connecticut is the co-founder and executive director of the Artist Collective, a community-based cultural institution serving the greater Hartford area. Committed to fostering and sharing the culture of the African diaspora, Dolly McLean has made the arts accessible to thousands of young people and their families. I was born in New York on 117th Street near Madison Avenue. It's Harlem. My father died very early. I think I was two years old. He's the person that called me Dolly. I can still recall him saying, come and sit on my lap, little doll. And there were five of us. I had three brothers, one sister. My mother, of course, was left all alone. She was from the small, tiny island of Antigua. I don't think she ever wanted to come to New York. I don't think it was her choice. She came because my father sent for her and my aunt. My mother was extremely resourceful. She made beautiful things. She sewed. She did everything she could to um, give us a lovely surrounding environment. We didn't have a lot of, I guess, but we didn't know what other people had because there was no television. So as far as we were concerned, we had everything. My mother was extremely protective. We pretty much stayed home. My mother knew where we were. We had dinner at a certain time. And I think um, the consistency in my life and the security that I felt that really came from my mother because she devoted her entire life to us. My aunt, who was um, very, very interested in going out and dancing. She was opposite to my mother. Auntie used to love to get dressed up and she would go out dancing and she told me stories about being in the Renaissance and dancing. She would take me to Radio City Music Hall on Sundays. I would get all dressed. We would be dressed after church. And then she would take me to the Strand sometimes, depending. They had uh, stage shows. And then there was the Apollo. Uh, the Apollo had a stage show as well as a black film. And um, so you'd see the movie and then the stage show. And it was always a wonderful, wonderful, um, I could feel this, you know, when the movie was ending. And I would hear the music and the lights would come up on the stage and the curtains would begin to go back. And there'd be this magnificent band of uh, musicians and the music and the girls would come out, the chorus line. Just was just magnificent. But my mother would never give me dancing lessons. She didn't feel it was a decent thing for a, a girl. And I, I know that it was because my mother had never been exposed to ballet or the more classical dance. Um, so to her, dance represented another kind of woman, I guess the dance hall girls. And so that was a no-no. In school, um, there was a dance class. And that's when I was able to join. I joined the dance group. And then um, from there, there was a young man, and I started dancing with him. I auditioned for and went down to the um, Catherine Dunham School of Dance. I can recall being on the stage and it's, it's a kind of excitement. Um, I was just sorry that I was never able to pursue it to the, to the uh, degree that I wanted to. It's very clear. I met Jackie on my way to a party. She looked like somebody I had been waiting to meet practically for a long time because uh, when I went home to my mother that night I said I met the girl that I'm going to marry. He's a very special man. Um, he told me the night that I met him he said he told me he was um, a musician but at the time he was working for the Herald Tribune. In any case all that I know I was smitten. Her energy and her uh, straightforwardness, her honesty, uh, her beauty of course and uh, just being with her was, was great fun for me. I had fallen in love with her from the beginning, and eventually we finally got married. I became a mother at a very, very early age. When a, a child is born, I have always, each with, with each one, 
it was the same kind of thrilling moment, I guess, that mothers, you know, when you see this little thing that you felt move inside of you. Renee being the first was the animal lover in the house, a very sensitive, loving child. My mother's very nurturing, uh, and I've learned those things from her. I've learned to appreciate uh, a, a, a lot of things. My mother um, is also a designer. I can remember her designing her own clothes, sewing her own clothes, her dragging my brothers and my sister and I through the department stores, through the material section, looking for draping, looking for material. I know a lot about material and draping and, and appreciation for certain aesthetic things in terms of uh, taste and clothing that, that I got from my mother. Vernon was my second and also a boy. And Vernie was the active one, the frisky one that I had to always run behind. My mother's always had her own special style. My mother has an excellent sense of uh, value because I would travel to the stores, Macy's, Gimbel's, uh, Bloomingdale's with my mother. My mother's sense of style, I was able to uh, pick up some things that um, I don't think I normally would have uh, gotten. Um, and of course it made me a, a frugal shopper and I'm still that way today but also in terms of value there was also family values that um, have been passed down there was many lessons that my mother um, or sometimes what I like to call lectures but there are uh, lectures of life and lectures of love and um, after I had my daughter I, I was amazed that uh, when I had to lecture my daughter some of the things that came out of my mouth I had to stop after and say you know that's my mother speaking. And of course, then came my darling daughter. There's several words that describe my mother. First thing I would say is beautiful. Strength, passion, loyalty, um, conviction, poise, and class. Dolly is the collective. She came into town and she was very persistent, extremely persistent. She called and she wanted to meet all of the people who were basically working in the community. I was teaching dance in the community and it was a situation where she wanted to do that. We sat and we talked about wanting to have a program that was for children within the community um, to kind of keep them off of the streets. We met here every Monday night in this living room and made plans to organize this uh, group of people. And so we started teaching out of churches and storefronts and things. And after Dolly took 15 years or more to raise the money, uh, with the help of many wonderful people here in Hartford that are on the board of directors and the help of some of the corporate people and uh, from the National Endowment in Washington, and all of this came together to help put that building up. The Artist Collective is a, a program where families can come together and where young people and older people can come to take lessons in music, uh, dance, uh, drama, visual arts, and with young people I thought it was necessary also the martial arts. The Artist Collective is a place to come and grow in, in a positive way. And I'll have a lot of people there to give you plenty of hugs and love, and uh, that's what the collective has always been. I see the collective as an extension of our home and the values and things that uh, our parents have instilled in us and wanting to give that to the community. The Artist Collective is a place for you to get a sense of uh, who you can be. It's a place where people care about you, and then you can um, develop your own creativity. The collective is so much more than just a cultural arts program. It's about families. It's a place where people can come together of all different races, religious backgrounds, socioeconomic backgrounds. Everybody that comes there is welcome. And it's a real familial feeling there. And it's been like that from the beginning. It's, it's, it's amazing to just see how people come together at the collective. I want to thank the collective uh, founders, uh, Jackie and Dolly McLean, I was astonished at the musical quality of the people here, and uh, it's a great gift to your community. The Harvard Graduate School says that the Artist Collective is seamless with the community it serves, and I like that. I really think that the Collective has to stay connected to be a moving force, if you will, and to empower many of our young people who don't understand 
the arts, who've not been exposed to the arts in school, and who don't understand uh, the, their heritage and their culture. I really feel, for me, that's what the artist collective needs to be and what it needs to remain. The building that we have there on Albany Avenue is one of very few nationally, and it is a testament to the culture and to the arts of who we are as black people. Thank you, Dolly McLean.